Well, this morning it's out to the Honda Jazz. It's got a headlight bulb that's out, so not on, on. So, beam and dip is okay. You do that one? So, beam's okay, dip, dip's not working. So, this is how to change the headlight bulb in a Jazz GD model or a fit GD model. This is the bulb kit that's been used today. I've got my finger so I will be having an assistant changing the bulb. But uh, you can pick these bulb kits up at Home Bargains for under £3. I think they're £2.79 which is what less than four US dollars these days so the one we're going to be using as far as I'm aware is this H4 bulb so first thing to do is we'll get the uh, the wheel area prepared all right the next step there is a fastener well I can't see it there we go right there you need to put a Phillips in there or a Phillips driver bit take the middle part out and then the surround will pop out right so let's see of course it's the most perfect day for uh, lots of sun in the exact direction of the screen but basically, the headlamp connector is going to be up up in there. You need to take that off and then release the spring clip. But I'll review the footage. Unfortunately, the sun is in the exact direction of the camera screen, so it's hard to see. But basically, inner liner has been pulled down going to get a torch so we get some bright light underneath uh, and then just identify which is the exact connector uh, to take off. Uh, I won't be doing it because this hand is my left hand and I just can't do it today but uh, we will get that taken care of just now. Right we've relocated the car I've actually jacked it up, kept the wheel on, and what I'm going to do is completely remove this liner down. So there's another pop stud needs to come off here, and there's one at the bottom. Um, and then having it jacked up, we've now got a good five or six inches clearance, so we'll be able to get in and at least video what's going on, see it clearly. But. Uh, couple of studs to take out, so that stud there and the one down the bottom here. Right, so we've got the liner down. You can see here this connector's been removed, so that was the connector for the H4 bulb. So the next thing you do is remove this rubber rubber surround that's that rubber surround out now somebody with their left hand is going to take this bulb out so there'll be a spring clip somewhere in there it's not that side I think that's at the top. So that's the new bulb installed. I'll double check here. So bulb is in. It's not, I don't think it's latched yet. So I'm going to latch it.
So the bulb is latched. Next thing to do is put this rubber bung back on. Okay, that's the rubber bung installed. The next thing is to get this connector. So the the singular one goes to the top. I'm not going to bother videoing that. Right, that's that's the connector fitted. Uh, if you could turn the lights on, just check and see if it works. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, let's dip and then do beam. Yep, that's fine. Check on this side, dip and beam. Yep, that's fine. So that's been done successfully. Now, one of the things that happened there, there was some confusion about this being the, uh, this is for the adjustment, the height adjustment of the, uh, the lights. So that'll have to get put back in up there. So there's obviously a ball socket type thing. Looks like the, the wide part goes to the top and the wide parts at the top there. So, never done this part before, but that was the bit that unfortunately got taken out in error. So I'll fiddle about with that and get it in. All right, job done. So, that there, what you need to do is hook the uh, sort of ball joint end into the white um, clip, I guess you would call it, and then you rotate it in, and then the connector goes on. I got it in initially without the gasket fitted, just to check it, but that's it, and I've checked it, it's working fully. So, to remove the, uh, the headlight one, it's the connector right in the centre. So to make it easier, as I say, jack the wheel up. You don't have to jack the wheel up, but because this was taken off in error, we had to get a good look at what was going on. So straightforward enough. And now it's a case of putting everything back together. So all that remains to be done now is, there's actually one missing from here. I'll need to get one for that at some point. But for the liner, you push the central part in after you've put the surrounding out. So that's that one done. And then there's one under here somewhere. There. Pull the central part up and then push it in. And that should be that retained. And then we've got one more to go in here. So this was the AliExpress special. So that's going to go up, central part, cooled down, circular part fitted, and then push it home with your finger. That's it. Job done. Right, we're going to test all the lights now. Yeah, something's gone wrong there. That one's not working. Oh well, that was handy. Right, light test part two. It was a loose connector, so all right, that's dip, or that's beam, that's dip, yep, that's fine. That's uh, dip, put beam on. Beam, that's it. Side light's okay. Indicators, put hazards on. Hazards okay there, hazards okay there. Side light's okay here. That one's okay. 
That was okay. Uh, number plate bulb, that one's working. That one's not. That loose connection, it'll need WD-40, so that's fine. Put the brakes on. And then you're going to put it into reverse as well. Brake light, brake, put it again. Brake light, brake light. And then into reverse. Might need the ignition on. Yep, that's fine. Okay, cool. Right, job done.